wages. Oh, yes, your day off. If you were as quick to start your work as you are to be paid, I would have no complaints. Very well, I shall pay you. But as everybody is my witness, <clears throat> you have not earned it. Uh, first, the deductions. There is the matter of that pane of glass in the back door. You failed to latch it, and the wind broke the pane. Since the wind cannot pay, I have to place the blame where the trite belongs. Twelve francs. Then, there was the clumsy business of Madame Travel's commode. Who should pay for that? The broom that I bought you last month is already worn out. I've told you not to lean on it so hard. Now it has to be replaced. Eight francs. Well, don't just stand there. Take your wages. The silent one. Hey, kids! Here comes the perfect horse for that tail. <laughs> Hello, Zigo. What are you bound for today? Perhaps a leisurely walk down the Champs Elysees. Huh? Then two maxims for a party and some wine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a rendezvous with a secret amour. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good luck. <laughs> Zigo, Zigo. Mm, troublemaker. He looks at my finest pastry. What does he end up with? Broken cookies. Just once, I wish you would give him a piece of your finest pastry, instead of letting him buy those stale broken cookies. The stomach is without eyes. It knows only its need. It doesn't care a sou if the cookies are stale or fresh, whole or broken before they are chewed. Well, give him a few extra this morning. I had dreams of starving people last night. An extra cookie will not solve the hunger of the world. A bakery is not a bank. Well, then at least give him a paper bag. She doesn't want a paper bag. How do you know? Well, Zigo, <laughs> what can we do for you today? <laughs> yes. Cookies, <laughs> how many? Hmm? How many? Um, Gigo. Do you care for a paper bag?
done nothing. You have employed the man under investigation. Ready, sir. Would you say this uh, Gigot has a good mind? As good as you will find in the chamber of the Senate. Mm -hmm. That is not good enough. That is not good enough. Do, do not write that down. Oh, yes, sir. Where is the subject now? <laughs> Probably at a funeral. Who's? Who knows? He likes them. Why? Why? Why do people go to horse races? He prefers funerals. He helps the mourners mourn, he shakes hands, he cries, he's silent with the rest. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he needs someone to look after him. Obviously. <laughs> It is with a sorrowful heart that we are gathered here today. We all knew the deceased as a fine family man, a good father to his sons, known to his intimates as a loyal husband. He was faithful and steadfast, always generous, a true credit to the community. He was one of the first to answer the call to arms. His comrades will never forget him. But with the true knowledge that 